Hi, I'm Destiny Palmer with the Western Maryland Pullers, and I'm here with Jim Rand. Um, we're here at the Washington County Ag Center in Boone's Bar, Maryland, um, putting on our event, uh, interstate tractor pullers event tonight. Um, we have some good machinery here, some uh, super stock tractors, some four-wheel drive trucks, and some diesel drag racing. Should be pretty interesting pulling. Yes, uh, we do this twice a year, spring and fall, and it's a fundraiser, and we give local donations to charities and uh, handicapped organizations and food banks, etc., and all. And it's uh, it's a fun thing to do. It's a lot of work and all, and a lot of us own tractors and all. It's a lot of upkeep, but we do this because it's a fun sport. It's it's not for to make any profit off of or anything. It's just a sport, a hobby. Like Jim said, we're all volunteers here, just putting on a gun event for the community. Um, we're trying to get families and kids here and get them interested in the sport of tractor pulling. Um, I, my, my family and I have started this back in 1999, and the sport has definitely grown since then. Um, so whenever anybody is in town, please come check us out. Um, our first event's the first weekend in May, and our second event is the last weekend in August. Um, and for information of our organization, Western Maryland Poolers, you can go to interstatepoolers.com um, and you can find schedules of local events um, and schedules of our events. And also, if you check us out on Facebook, um, Western Maryland Poolers Association. Hi, my name is Dennis. Um, myself and I own the Flirting with Disaster Pulling Truck. It's a 1998 Chevrolet with a 572 Big Block Chevrolet with a 210 shot nitrous on it. The paint job is by Chris Lane Designs out of Middletown, Virginia, and was sponsored by Country Chevrolet, Warrington, Virginia, Shenandoah Sports, Tom's Brook, uh, Cutting Edge out of Front Royal, Virginia, Spike Supply out of Front Royal, out of Strasburg, Virginia, and that's about it. We pull in a 6,600 pound modified class, four by four. I'm Danielle Dingus, and we have the Gambler. It's a 67 Chevy with a 538 blown big block in it. Um, it's not naturally aspirated. That'd be nice if it was. Um, we run the 6,600 pound class. 605 is the cubic inch limit. We're currently running the smallest engine in the class. Um, have you driven it? Yeah. I started driving when I was 15. And I'm 19 now. Is it pretty powerful? Yeah, it's got a lot of power to it. It's way more than I'm used to. A lot more than what these diesels pull. How do you think you all will do tonight? Uh, hopefully at least second. Second or first. Yeah, my name's Jim Rand again. I'm the owner of the White Fawn Pulling Tractor Superstock. And I just want to let you know that this is not possible if you don't have these behind the scene guys or helpers. They work for nothing, long hours, do a lot of work, get dirty and greasy and all. And even this little guy, Lane, Missy son, he helped pull extension cords and stuff at uh, Harrisburg Pool when we was hooking uh, battery chargers up and all. Drew, good time you was the I'm, tractor. I'm Drew. I used to have a tractor. I sold it. This is Craig. How's it going? Okay, this group of guys sitting here, they're all uh, volunteers and all. They help us with our tractors and all. We pull a circuit on the interstate. And we travel down North Carolina, out in Ohio, et cetera. And these guys are all volunteers. They just like to, to help us out and all. And if they wouldn't be helping us, we wouldn't be able to do this alone. Okay, this is Jim Rand again here. We're down here. Kenny Barnhart, he's our uh, microphone man here at our two pools, spring and fall. I'm going to let Kenny say a few words about the sport of tractor pulling. Kenny? Thanks, Jim. Well, Tractor pulling started here at the Ag Center probably back in the 1990, or no, 2003 is when the Ag Center got built down here. Um, and it's been pulling, holding events here for since then. Um, tractor pulling has been around since the early 1970s. Um, and it started here. It's been a generation thing for many a family down in this area. Uh, you got the Thomases and the Prices and everybody, and it's just grown through the generations. And it's continued up until today. Um, we draw 2,000 people here on a good event, um, sometimes even more than that. Uh, it's very good uh, family fun. Um, a lot of this is one of the sports where you can bring kids to and have them walk around and actually talk to the drivers and get some good information. 
and uh, and it's just all around good, clean fun. Good evening. I'm John Dugan from Shepherdstown, West Virginia, and I'm here at the uh, Washington County Ag Center with uh, Western Maryland Truck and Tractor Pullers. Uh, my truck behind me here, the Damage Plan Ford. Uh, we run the 6,600-pound modified four-wheel drive truck class with interstate truck and tractor pullers, and we just come over to have a good evening with the uh, with the Odins and Western Maryland tractor pullers. My name is Sarah Butler, and I'm a member of the Youth International Barrel Racing Association. We're raising money for our youth barrel racers for the end of the year awards. These girls have put in a whole weekend of working the booth, selling tickets for the four-wheeler that is behind us. The tickets are $10 a piece. You can contact Sherry Olden. She is a state director, which is myself, at 301-465-5898 for tickets. We'll be here tonight until closing. We'll be at the Blue Ridge Riding Club for their annual yard sale. On September 5th, 6th, and 7th, the four-wheeler will also be there, and you can buy purchase tickets there. These girls will also be there selling uh, yard sale material and baked goods and candy candy bars that they do all year. Um, it's a great organization, and the, all the money goes to the youth awards for their year-end um, awards. They do a great job, and this is only a few of about... 20 that we have, but not everybody can make it out. So just, just look us up. What am I supposed to say? I'm Becca Marshall. Um, I run in the Youth International Bear Racing Association. Um, yeah. Um, he's a black quarter horse. He's very sassy. <laughs> He's a dark bay. Sorry. I don't know. I would say about 14 3. Yeah, something like that. Sarah, you want to tell about your horse? I ride a sorrel horse named Rascal, and he, he is 15.1 hands. I ride a buckskin quarter horse. Her name's Pistol, and she's 14, 14, two. 14 two hands. And unfortunately, I'm just a director. I don't ride, but I support the girls 100% and whatever they want to do, and they do a fantastic job riding. We have a great group. The Maryland IBRA is um, anybody can ride. It doesn't. You don't need a registered horse to ride. You can bring any horse that you want and come out and have fun. That's what, it, that's what this group's all about, is fun. And we have a website that you can go on, is www.ibra.us, and click on the state of Maryland, and that will give you all the information if you would like to join our great group. For photos, go to WashingtonCounty.com. Keyword, tractor pool.
at WashingtonCounty.com. Keyword tractor pool.